What is up, folks? We are at the secret lake that I'm sure nobody knows the name of. We are hopefully going to catch them here. I'm going to be throwing the Nico rig back in this cove up here, and I'm hoping that some of these bigger bass will be in these little grass mats that we got up here. So let's get into the fishing. Now, last time I was out here, I lost a really, really big one on, it was my third fish of the day, and I lost him because he snapped my line. So hopefully we're going to get some redemption here. I had to leave last time because a huge thunderstorm rolled in, but it is clear skies today, so I think I'll be able to stay out here a little longer. Definitely over here, it's just we're looking for the bigger ones. There we go, folks. I thought he was a big one. He was There we go, folks. There we go. That took a minute. There we go, folks. Nice little one there. Peace. I'm throwing this fluke around grass, folks. So I'm trying to work a little faster than I would with the Sanko around grass because I'm just trying to. Um, I'm going through uh, grass patches, and when there's no grass, I'm throwing the Nico pick. And when there is grass, I'm throwing the fluke. So I'm just trying to work fast and this allows me to do it. That is a fish. Oh my goodness gracious. That is a bass right there. Four pounder. Nice. There we go, folks. Another one on the fluke. It seems like the fluke is catching the bigger fish today, which is surprising. Usually I just get those little one pound school fish. So we'll take that, it's a decent one. We'll put him in the well, we'll take a picture of him later. Take a little Texas Smalley any day of the week. Always cool to catch these. Don't catch too many of them. 
He was hanging out with the drum down there, which is kind of funny. Alrighty. Adios, Mr. Smallmouth. Oh. Adios, Mr. Smallmouth. Oh, I got a fish. I thought I got a fish. Where are you going? Oh, nice. Is that Oasis? Where at? You gotta drop off Oreo balls? To Johnny's? Oh, I got another fish. Oh, this is a good one. I have a good one on. Oh, no way. It's a catfish. No way. No freaking way, folks. You are coming home with me. Oh, yeah. I just caught a catfish, Presley. In the mouth and everything. Nico rig in about 12 to 13 feet of water I think so I think what they're gonna be doing the bigger ones are gonna be hanging on the outside of the grass line either on closer to the bank or farther out it seems like I've caught more closer to the bank but I think I'm gonna try on the outside of the grass line for a little bit There we go, folks. Oh, yeah. That's a good fish right there. Boom. Stuck the heck out of him. Let's go. shell cracker folks these are pretty fish I gotta say very pretty fish there we go folks another good one Come on up here. Oh, yeah.
another good one. Ouch. Good one. This is one of my best days ever out here. It's like a two and a half pounder. There's some good ones over there, folks. Two I saw were good four and a half five pounders. I don't know if they were spawning or something. It's kind of late for that, but they looked like they were together. It was weird. We're talking. There we go. Boom. Now we get to Cole, the smaller one out here. So he's going back, and this one is going in the well. Mega bag. Oh, Mr. Catfish. Lucky day. Well, folks, we had a pretty dang good day out here. I'm going to have to call it a dog and go to work. But that was one of the biggest bags that I've caught this year. I think it was a 14 pound, 13, something like that. Not huge but it's good that I can come out here and get on caliber of fish like that right before work. So y'all have a nice day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be back at it soon with another one. Adios.